In this video, I'm gonna share with you the secret to exporting your videos in high quality in Premiere Pro 2021. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Once I have Premiere opened up on my computer, I'm just gonna go up to File, New, Sequence. And then I recorded this video at 1080p, 24 frames per second. So I'm just gonna go down to Digital SLR select my frame rate, whichever one is specific to you. I'm gonna click on it. And then what I'm gonna do is drag my clip down onto the timeline. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I'm already done editing this video and now I'm ready to export. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the playhead and go to the very beginning of my timeline and press I on the keyboard for N. Then I'm gonna take the playhead and go to the very end of my footage and press O on the keyboard for out. This is creating in and out points and telling Premiere Pro the section on the timeline that you wanna export. Then what I'm gonna do is go up to file export media once that opens up the first thing i'm going to do is change format to h.264 i'm going to go ahead and bypass preset because this is going to change to custom as we go through the different changes throughout the settings then go down to output name this is just going to be where you want to save your clip and what you want to name it so i'm going to name this really quickly export and just press save then I wanna make sure that export video and export audio are both checked because if you don't have both of them checked, one or the other may not export with the video. Then just go ahead and review my summary settings. The first thing I'm gonna do is scroll down to the basic video settings. And I just wanna make sure the width and height is set to 1920 by 1080. If it's not, you can uncheck this box here, unlink here, and then manually type in 1920 for width and 1080 for height. Or you can simply just click match source. Once you've done that, go ahead and recheck that box. Then under frame rate, just uncheck this box here and you can select whatever frame rate you want your video to export out at. For field order, I want it to remain progressive and aspect needs to be set to square pixels 1.0. Then go down and check this box for render at maximum depth. Now I'm gonna scroll down to the encoding settings and the encoding settings are gonna play a huge role in how fast your video is going to export. So the first option we have under performance is hardware encoding. This utilizes available hardware for quicker encoding you can choose software encoding to disable hardware encoding, which may increase encoding times. Basically what that means is that if your computer has a good enough GPU, you can utilize hardware encoding. A lot of computers, especially with the basic video editors, you may not have this luxury. So you will just have to select software encoding. But if you do have a strong GPU, you're gonna wanna change it and select that hardware encoding. Once you've made that selection, then just scroll down. Under profile, it needs to be set to high and then level needs to be set to 4.2. Then you're gonna scroll down to the bitrate settings and the bitrate settings are gonna be a huge factor in how large your file size is actually gonna be. So you have a couple of different options. The first option that you have is CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, which basically means that your bitrate is gonna remain constant throughout the entire export process. The next options that you have are VBR one pass and VBR two pass. And VBR simply just stands for variable bitrate. And that just means it's going to do one pass or two passes to address those areas inside of your video that require more bitrate. If you opted to use hardware encoding, you will not have the option of using VBR2 pass. So starting with constant bitrate, this is gonna give you the highest quality video that you can possibly get. And what I like to do is just change this all the way up to 62.5. And that's gonna ensure that your video can come out at the highest quality possible. The downside to this is that the estimated file size has increased significantly. So here's my secret. What I like to do is I'll go down here under VBR one pass, and then I'm gonna go to target bitrate, and I'm gonna change this to 30. And notice that the estimated file size has now been cut in half. If I didn't opt to use hardware encoding and I chose software encoding, I can change this to VBR two pass. And this just means that Premiere Pro is gonna do two passes instead of one pass, analyzing those areas that require higher bitrate. This is gonna make your export take a lot longer and it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I like to keep it at VBR one pass regardless. Then go down and just check use maximum render quality and click on the audio tab. Under the audio tab, the audio format should be set to AAC. Basic audio settings for audio codec AAC. Sample rate should be at 48,000 Hertz. Channel should be set to stereo. Audio quality should be high. Bitrate settings set to 320. Then under it, vet settings for precedence, set that to bitrate. Now that you've selected all these different settings, you're gonna go up here to where it says save preset. And this is going to create a preset so you don't have to go through this process every single time you export your video. I'm just gonna name this best export settings and then just press okay. Now just select export. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you 
in the next video.